Hello, I'm Dr. David McFadden from the Dental Implant Center in Dallas, Texas. I'd like to show you a picture of my office. Today we're going to talk about the cost of dental implants. It's a very wide ranging topic and I think some of you are going to finish this video being a little bit frustrated because it's difficult to talk about cost of implants and be specific. Uh, there's so many factors involved, so I'd like to get right into those factors uh, that influence the range of costs of dental implant treatment. The most significant one is the geographical area. Uh, I think that's obvious. If you're in New York or Los Angeles or Chicago, Dallas, uh, any big city, any metropolitan city uh, where the cost of living is high, implant treatment's going to be higher in general. And I think that makes sense. If you contrast New York City to Jackson, Mississippi, or to Tyler, Texas, uh, there's obvious price differences and you'll expect to pay more in the big cities. The good thing about being in a big city though is there are many more specialists and a specialist care is usually a, a, a different level of care. We'll talk about that a little bit in this second topic. The dentist credentials are extremely important. When you're trying to get your mouth restored with dental implants or even even with crowns or bridges or dentures or partials a specialist is a person who's trained to do those treatments three additional years after dental school is what it takes to become a reconstructive dentist or a prosthodontist which is what I am the lab cost is very significant as well Many dentists don't use high quality labs, so many of those outcomes are compromised. Uh, at the end of treatment, people are disappointed. So the lab cost uh, has a huge range in the United States. For example, I'll just give you one quick example about crowns. Dental crowns, whether they be zirconium or, or porcelain, a dental crown can be purchased by a dentist for as low as thirty to fifty dollars. Contrast that with the high end where dental crowns may cost five hundred dollars for the dentist to purchase from the lab. Lab cost is, has an extraordinary range uh, and typically that range uh, from low end to high end is a significant difference. Another factor that influences the cost is the type of material that the dentist uses in the restorations. Our least expensive is titanium wrapped in acrylic. We don't use that as much as we used to because it's a little more fragile than, than we'd like, but it was our only option for many years. Now we've got zirconium, and in some cases we still do metal wrapped in porcelain, which is a beautiful restoration, and that restoration type has stood the test of time. We've had that around for 100 years. So the type of material that the dentist decides to use does also uh, affect the overall cost. The implant type. Uh, I know it's going to sound mind-boggling again, just like the range of crown costs. Implants can be purchased by the doctor for $29 all the way up to $600. So imagine how that affects the overall price. And the one thing I'd like to talk about when it comes to implant type is the most popular implants are the ones that are pretty much universally available. And that does impact your treatment going forward. So imagine that you've had an implant placed by an obscure implant company because the doctor wanted to cut costs. You move to another city or the implant company goes out of business and you can't get parts and pieces. Uh, sometimes, you know, in my practice, we see a lot of patients that move to Dallas that have another implant system or they have complications. And sometimes uh, it's a wild goose chase trying to find the manufacturer and, and parts and pieces. Uh, some companies buy the inventory from an implant company that goes out of business, but it, it, it isn't, it's an important factor in choosing the doctor and what implant system they use. The more popular ones are more expensive, and that's just the way it goes, but it makes the future uh, maintenance uh, for the patient much, much easier. Whether you get sedated or not for your treatment. 
Most of our patients do get sedated and it doesn't increase the cost much, a couple percent. Uh, that's not a big factor and we do recommend for these larger surgeries that patients do get sedation. It's much easier for them. And the final thing is how many teeth do you have left and how many, how many teeth do we have to extract? Uh, all these factors come into play when talking about implant cost. So that's why there's such a large range. Uh, every patient is different, of course, and uh, uh, we'll talk about this a little bit more towards the end. So before we go any further, I want to define a couple different terms that we use in dentistry. Dentists call uh, each tooth a unit. So we, are, we have 32 teeth. Most people have their wisdom teeth extracted, so that leaves 28 teeth. So that would be 28 units uh, to consider when restoring a dentition. Uh, the other term is arches. We use the term arch, uh, and I'll define these a little bit further. Just think of one unit being one tooth. When we talk about an arch, we're talking about e either the upper or the lower jaw. And then if we talk about full mouth treatment, we're talking about both the upper and lower jaws. So that will help help you understand the breakdown that I give here in just a few minutes, thinking about units being teeth and arches being the jaws themselves. Single unit implant treatment, meaning one tooth at a time, is the most expensive per unit. There's three pieces for every implant restoration. There's the implant itself, that's the part that goes in the bone. There's an abutment, that abutment is the piece that connects the implant to the crown. And this would then be a, an implant crown. So three pieces. And that ends up being the most expensive treatment uh, because it, it has to be all three pieces. So when we're talking about cost, and again, I apologize for such, the, such a large range, but it's just what we have to talk about today. It's, I don't know where you're listening from. So a uh, single tooth implant, uh, $3,000 to $10,000, huge range. Let me explain it a little bit further. Um, $3,000 would be a very low cost implant and most likely a doctor that has very little experience. Uh, locally, our general dentists always have lower prices than specialists. I've already mentioned that. Uh, the credentials do make a difference uh, and the city you're in makes the, the two biggest differences. So a single tooth implant, just like you see here, um, should look just like the tooth that it's replacing. I know that sounds weird because when you sign up for implant treatment, you would expect that you're going to get a tooth that looks the way it should, or a tooth that matches the, the ones around it. It's not always the case. And this is where experience comes in. The depth of the implant is so important. To get the shape of the gingiva, we call this the gingival architecture. To, to take a site like this and turn it into a site like this, uh, it has to be precision. And the depth of the implant and the diameter of the implant chosen in this case makes all the difference. So it's right for a patient to expect this kind of an outcome. But unfortunately, it's rare. So here's the x-ray of that same patient. The implant in bone, the abutment is inside the crown, you can't see it. And then the crown itself. Okay, so those are the three pieces. The most expensive treatment in implant dentistry per unit. So we also have bridges or what we call multiple unit implant restorations. It doesn't have a one-to-one -one ratio. And I know that doesn't probably make sense uh, on this slide, but on this slide you'll understand that sometimes we can do three teeth on two implants. Perfectly acceptable, very strong, and sometimes we can do four teeth on two implants. So you can see how the cost per unit comes down. This would be a four unit implant restoration, a three unit implant restoration, and implants are strong, uh, and this, is, this doesn't violate any of the strength principles that we, we consider when making bridges in implant dentistry. So the cost per unit goes down when you're doing implant bridges. 
anywhere from $2,500 to $7,500 per tooth. So why don't we do more implants? Well, many times the spaces between the, the spaces uh, in the bone for the implants and subsequent teeth is too narrow to put one implant in for every tooth. So by doing implant bridges, we can lower the cost and many times we can improve the outcome, uh, certainly the aesthetic outcome. I've seen many cases over the years where dentists tried to put in too many implants and if one implant's off by a couple millimeters, it can be catastrophic from an aesthetic standpoint. So um, we have ways of measuring these spaces and determining what's best for you. Some people like the lower cost of, a, of an implant bridge. And if there is space, uh, other people want individual crowns. And the, the advantage there is that a bridge has to be flossed underneath individual implant crowns if there's space, you can floss normally around them. And a lot of patients really like that. So that's a discussion you have to have with your dentist when you're making the treatment plan, uh, which way you prefer to go. So then we're gonna move on to probably what many of you are tuned in for right now. And uh, to start with was that full mouth or full arch implant treatment. Very, very complicated. To get this right, uh, you're going to need to look for a board certified specialist. Um, the quarterback of most of these teams is the prosthodontist. So uh, again, I'm, I am a prosthodontist, but I, I have family and friends that call me from out of town and ask my advice about finding somebody who can do this type of treatment. My answer is always the same. Board certified prosthodontist. Even if that prosthodontist doesn't do his own surgery, like we do here, He's going to quarterback your treatment. He's going to work with an oral surgeon or a periodontist to make sure the implants are put in at the right position, the right depth, and the right number. So again, board certified specialist is who you should be looking for for uh, any implant restoration, but especially these complicated full arches or full mouth restorations. Three ways we restore the entire arch or the entire mouth. Implant overdentures, those are removable. They snap on and snap off so you can clean them easier. Least expensive. The next one, which has become the most popular implant treatment in the history of the world, is the all on four. Uh, and that is a, what we call, before all on four was coined, we called it a hybrid restoration. We'll talk about those in just a minute. And then implant bridges, which is, it is the very best treatment that you can get in implant dentistry. But because of the popularity and the marketing of All On Four, people rarely hear about implant bridges. I have several videos on my YouTube channel that talk about this in detail. Today's topic is cost, so I don't want to get too, far, too deep into the differences between these other than to say, um, my, my patients ask me, usually during a consultation or near the end of a consultation, what would you do for you or your loved ones? What would you do for your family and friends? And the answer, again, is always the same. This restoration looks, feels, functions, and cleans just like natural teeth. So who wouldn't want that, right? So we'll talk about that in just a minute. So let's start with overdentures or snap-on dentures. Here's the cost breakdown. Many different categories of, of implant overdentures. Mini implants are a great way to restore somebody's mouth with an implant overdenture. We can do as few as two, as many as four, and sometimes even more than that. The mini implants are cost effective and easy but they can't be upgraded. So that's a point I make with my patients at the treatment planning a, a, a visit is that you can get mini implants for a much lower cost, but they cannot be upgraded to the all on four or the implant bridges in the future. So uh, those are factors that you and your family have to talk about. Some of that has to do with age, finances, uh, maybe a lot of my patients want to be able to remove their denture to clean it 
uh, easily. So there's a few factors involved that you'd have to discuss with your dentist about why, why one of these is better than the other. So in general, too many implants for the implants and the prosthesis per arch, it's per arch, $2,000 to $6,000. If you do four mini implants, which makes the denture even more stable, um, 4,000 to 12,500. So big ranges again, sorry, that's the best I can do. And when we move down to the regular implants, those are a little bit more technically difficult and uh, they, they cost us more. The purchase price of these is more than these. So that's why you'll see ranges 6,500 to 12,500 and four regulars, 10,000 to 17,500. Again, a lot of variables involved. Great restoration, um, and a lot of people choose this option. So here's an example of a four implant overdenture. These are what, uh, these are called attachments, the, uh, the abutments that then hold the attachments. Four locator abutments. Here's the overdenture. These are the attachments. So that denture then snaps down on top of the locator abutments. And this is what it looks like in the mouth. So we, the word that we use to determine, to determine how much retention is appropriate for each patient is titration. We try, to, we try to titrate the amount of retention for each patient based on, it's gonna sound crazy, how strong their fingers are. We want a prosthesis that will stay in all the time with no risk of it coming out when you're talking, laughing, sneezing. But we also have to have it removable by the patient. So these, these attachments come in seven different levels of retention. So we try to get this prosthesis as tight as possible without it being too tight. I know that's pretty easy to understand. It takes a little bit of work. So we're gonna move on next to the all on four or the hybrid prosthesis. Again, the most popular restoration in the history of dentistry and the history of the world because of marketing. Uh, there's millions of dollars being spent a month to market this prosthesis. And I will tell you that I like this prosthesis for the lower jaw. It's a perfectly acceptable solution for the lower jaw. So let's go into it a little bit. Here's a good example of four implants. These are the abutments that come through the tissues. And then this is the titanium skeleton with the acrylic teeth and denture foundation wrapped around the acrylic bar. I'm sorry, wrapped around the titanium bar. The titanium gives it strength, and a little bit more strength comes from the acrylic. Nice restoration for the lower jaw. That prosthesis also can be done in zirconium, and this is an example of a zirconium restoration. These are titanium cylinders. They sit on the implant. The rest of the prosthesis is zirconium. The beauty of zirconium is it is stronger, and it can be made smaller because it's stronger. Titanium with acrylic overlay has to be a fairly large thick prosthesis because it's inherently weak. Zirconium is not, so we're, we're, we're moving more and more towards zirconium because of the strength qualities of zirconium. And here, here's what that looks like in the mouth. And I think you can even appreciate from the first patient to this patient how much smaller this prosthesis is uh, in zirconium. So let's talk about price. And you may even hear the phrases all on four, all on six, all on X, but they're all basically the same restoration. They are uh, one company's idea of, of a treatment modality, and it doesn't really matter how many implants there are, um, it's still gonna be called all on something. Uh, and the cost ranges for acrylic over titanium, 15,000 to 25,000, zirconium, 16.5 to 30,000. That's per arch, so if you're gonna have your whole mouth done, you would double those numbers. And I know that sounds really high. That's what the, 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 uh, where we are in the industry right now. I would also caution you, 
When you're getting quotes on the lower end of this range, ask a lot of questions. Um, many of these implant centers who offer all on four treatment, that's all they do. So you're only going to get that option. But when you get down to the, the lower levels, what we've experienced here in Dallas is that uh, many times it's the associate dentist that will treat you for the lower price, uh, not the owner or the, the senior partner in the practice. Um, but ask a lot of questions about why their, their prices are so low. Um, and they've worked out their answer to that in advance. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a part of the sales pitch. And we all have to sell these treatments, so I'm not criticizing the sales pitch. But when you get down to the lower end of this range, um, you're typically not going to get the very best treatment or the very best outcome that you could. And the final uh, implant, full arch restoration type, are implant bridges. Uh, I've got several YouTube videos regarding this treatment and we will try to provide links for those for you um, at the end of the presentation. And I also want to mention that the whole presentation is available to you on a, in, in PowerPoint form, meaning the static presentation is there. If you want to go through it slide by slide, uh, stop on the prices, make some calculations, uh, it, we'll provide that link for you as well. But implant bridges, the very best treatment that you can get in implant dentistry, by far. It's not talked about very much, and why is that? because it's really hard to do. <laughs> it's more expensive, but it, technically it's extremely difficult to make these cases come together. Each implant has to fall under a tooth. Now that sounds kind of odd that, you know, we'll get to that. So let's just talk about why implant bridges are the best we can do in implant dentistry. And again, I've already said that I believe the all on four is a good restoration for the lower jaw. This is what we like in the upper jaw. This is what every dentist on the planet would have if they were faced with tooth loss problems. Every dentist would want this. So think about that for a minute. If the consumer's getting, you know, every day thousands of all on fours are being done in both arches around the country, around the world, but every dentist on earth would want implant bridges. Think about that for just a minute. Consider why that is. So implant bridges look, feel, function, and clean just like natural teeth. And all of those are huge benefits of that treatment. So we'll go into the actual appearance of an implant bridge. Now, I'm not saying that every one of our implant bridges looks this beautiful. This is our goal. Some people come in with many, many missing teeth. Some people come in with a lot of bone loss already. So we can't always get this perfect outcome or this perfect outcome, but that's our goal and we obtain that a lot of the time. The difference would be if a person already has dental problems or has bone loss, you, we might have to add some pink zirconium. But the goal is these, this is the patient's own gum tissue and bone. We do not disturb that. We try to preserve that with implant bridges. Again, on the previous patient, this is the patient's gum, own gum and bone tissue. And you may recall the other pictures of the other prostheses for all on four. There's a big layer of pink acrylic or pink zirconium. That's because bone was removed at surgery. On the upper jaw, we try to never remove bone. And this is what the outcome can be if the patient comes in with most of the factors favorable for it. Implant bridges, and I said earlier that it's technically very difficult to get this right because the implants, unlike all on four, implant bridges, the implants have to fall directly under the teeth to get this kind of an outcome. So the surgery is much, much more technically difficult uh, to get just right. And therefore, more implants, more difficult surgery, higher cost prosthesis. So implant bridges are going to be the most expensive treatment in implant dentistry. So per arch, thirty to forty-five thousand dollars per arch. For a whole mouth, some people do want implant bridges in their lower arch and we're perfectly able to do that. So uh, very expensive treatment. But I would tell you that 
this is not like buying a car. Um, this is something, if done well and maintained well, should last the rest of your life. So uh, these price points, there's a huge range between price points, especially when you're considering both arches or a full mouth treatment. You can see that two of these together could be $90,000 in some areas by some doctors. But if it's done well and it's maintained well, that should be a forever restoration. And that's the part that you don't always get with these other modalities. These other treatment modalities often do not last a lifetime. So let's just go back over the factors one more time. Where you live and where you're treated, how much experience and how much education the doctor has, the lab costs and how, how natural you want the teeth to look, what material is used to restore the implants, how much the implant costs the doctor, whether you're getting sedation or not, whether, how many teeth are being extracted. So those are all the factors that I believe play into this huge cost range that we just talked about. As a specialist in Dallas, I'm going to be somewhere in the middle of these ranges. But again, there's so many variables that, that I, I would be doing you an injustice to try to tell you how much this would cost you personally. Um, our consultations are free. Our x-rays are free, so um, it's easy to come in and get an exact price. Um, so again, I know some of you are at this point are frustrated that you thought you were going to watch this video and I was going to tell you exactly what it, it would cost, but I hope this explains why I can't really do that. So thank you again. Uh, I hope this helps and feel free to ask us questions on the YouTube channel.